Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today, let's talk about the Triple Lot Design Fast Pack SE Special Edition X50. This is what I use. I actually have two of them. I have the white, and here I have the black camo, and the white snow, I believe it's called the snow camo, which I gave to my wife, and it works wonderful. It's great for single day Summit Assault Packs, because they're so small, 15 liters. Triple Lot Design really knocked out of the park with this one and the X50 material is just amazing. The abrasion resistant, waterproof, probably same as you. I have a large selection of backpacks from Kifaru and the Hidden Woodsman, Hill People Gear. This here is my Prometheus Design Works Shadow Pack which we'll talk about in another video later on so um, you know what to do. But for right now, today we're going to talk about this Triple Lot Design Fast Pack X50. I find 15 liters to be my sweet spot, my favorite spot. I, I tend to think people carry too much out in the woods or in the mountains. That's just my opinion. You carry what you want to carry. Um, I'm not judging you, but for me, 15 liters is exactly what I like to carry. So, obviously I'm not camping overnight in this bag or anything. It's just strictly for a day hike, a, you know, a salt pack as they call it, but you know. I'm not assaulted in anything. They say it's built with military design and like a sleek mountaineering design. I would agree with that. It does look a bit, it has all the features. It is kind of military. It also has the gray man features or even like a tech wear, you know, kind of gear. Triple Hot Design's really known for their clothing, their apparel. And to me, their apparel is a mix between military and tech wear. I think that's why I'm so drawn to it. It's like really great premium gear. Uh, very, very high end. If you're not familiar with Triple Op Design, they're based out of San Francisco. Their headquarters is in San Francisco. They were created in 1997 by Patrick Ma, who since uh, moved on, left the company, and now works for or owns Prometheus Design Works, who is another um, top-notch company. But Triple Op Design, even after Patrick left, has really excelled, and they make some great gear. And this backpack, I think, is their cream of the crop, in my opinion, just because I like the 15 liter so much. So, we'll look at this bag, we'll get into this bag. What I'm gonna show you, what I'm carrying in this bag now is more like for a day hike. It's not about the gear that's inside the bag, more I wanna just talk about and show you the bag. I'm gonna show you the gear, but just know it's not really about the gear. I'm gonna skim over what's inside. First of all, for those who do make content, the Peak Design Capture Clip does fit on here. I'm actually using my mirrorless camera now, but it does fit on here. It's a little bit defeats the purpose to you bring my big mirrorless camera, to be honest, when I'm using this bag, because I want to be light. So more likely I would bring, as a content creator, I would bring something more like my G7X or, you know, the GoPro. It has the waterproof on now because I'm going surfing tomorrow. But yeah, that's uh, what I would probably bring just for making content instead of bringing that. Because uh, otherwise, why don't I bring a 25 liter pack with me if I'm going to bring all this camera gear, you know. If I'm going to bring my Peak Design travel tripod or something. So that this, by the way, does fit on here. Uh, you can just pop it off here and connect it. And it holds perfectly fine. If that's what you're into. I am into it also. Like I said, I create content, but with this pack, I'm trying, trying to keep it smaller. I recommend the ZB-1 or something like this. So first off, let's talk about the duck tail or the transporter tail as they call it. Actually, this transporter tail right here is an aftermarket one I bought from a guy in Ukraine. I want to have the triple lot design transporter tail. I just uh, haven't found one yet, but when I do, I will replace it. But this one that this guy in Ukraine makes, I bought it off of eBay. It, it really works well. It's really nice. So this is aftermarket and it has a zipper here on the side. And I just keep my trash bag, pick up trash along the trail as you go in, you know, do good deeds, good deeds will come to you. And sunglasses, this is fast, quick access stuff here on the duck tail. But in most cases, when you buy this bag, I mean, not in most cases, when you buy this bag, it doesn't come with the um, transporter tail. So if this transporter tail is removed, there's a space here in the bottom of the bag, which they call the inverted uh, carry, I believe. So there's a big space here and there's Velcro. So it'll just close up. I think this is good for like a waterproof jacket, a rain jacket or something. Or if you snack, just grab it in there, quick and go. That's how you do without the transporter tail. I personally prefer the transporter tail, not just because of the zipper, um, 
if I wanted to bring extra gear, and again, this defeats the purpose kind of, because why don't I carry a bigger bag besides 15 liters, but if I absolutely wanted to use this bag and I had to go quickly, if I had something like the Pelican 1170 case, mostly with camera gear or a drone, so like that, if I want to bring my drone with me, um, I could actually do it, but I think ideally you would bring a bigger bag if you're going to bring this kind of gear, but just know if this is the only bag you can't, you have, you own, you can do that. You can get extra space out of this. And just for note, this is the 1170 gun case. I think it's usually used for a pistol case, but for me, I use it for camera gear. So when you buy this bag, it'll come looking like this. It will have these straps here. I have them pulled back because of the transporter tail, but these do snap here. You can put a jacket in here or a helmet or anything like that. But there is a zipper here on the front. This looks more like a tech pouch, but since I use this, even though it looks like a tech pouch, I use this for day hikes. Um, I have day hiking gear in here. So essentially I have a Prometheus Design Works uh, chopsticks here. I have this, maybe you're not familiar, maybe you are, but basically this is a bear bell. So it's quiet, you just click this down and you hike like that. It makes my wife feel better, so I do bring it with me, but most of the time I don't use it. But if we are in the back country, you know, and we're feeling unsafe, you get eerie, sometimes you get that feeling, you know, you just pop that on there. Um, I have some reading glasses, <laughs> you know. I have a Snow Peak Spork. Again, I'm not really carrying that much gear in here, so don't be surprised. And this is not really about the gear, so that's all I have in that department. Compartment. <laughs> Let's get into the main part of this bag, and it is a clamshell opening. This is what I really like about this, is a clamshell opening. You open it like that, and you can see all your contents. And you can see all your contents, so like that. I have a triple op design water bottle here. You're probably gonna need more water than this if you're going for the summit. Um, I do have space in here for another water bottle. So uh, this is 32 ounces, I believe. I'd probably bring another one if I was going for the summit. But a day hike, you know, just go walk through the woods or something just to make mess around and make content or, you know, make it do a little scout. One water bottle would do fine. I have a little snow peak table here. I like to have a table. You can use a rocks. It doesn't matter. When you're using this kind of bag, be as minimalist as you can. Try to get rid of junk that you don't need. I probably don't need this. It's not exactly junk, but I like to bring my snow peak table with me when I go out. This is a Kefaro sheep tarp. It's a really small tarp. I think uh, maybe six by three. Just, uh, just extra shelter. I just like to have shelter with me just in case, but uh, it squeezes down really small. Kefaro sheep tarp. This is a really high end, uh, uh, it's very small tarp. So. Another thing I added on the bag is this. So I added this, they call this the control panel. Mostly I just keep uh, some meds in here or first aid stuff, or you can flip it around and use it this way where it has molly attached to it. So either way, if you wanted a molly, I, to me, this bag just doesn't have enough space to molly stuff, you know, it fits the water bottle. Again, this is just a assault summit pack. Just going for the summit or a day hike, you know, see how thin it is. It's only a couple inches, maybe four inches. So you're not going to go crazy and wild out and bring everything with you that you want with this bag. This is just to keep you minimalistic. There's zippers here in a big space so you can fit something good size in there. I'm thinking jackets or snacks. Um, on, the other, on the other side of this control panel, there is a sleeve here for water bottle, uh, water bladder or whatever you want really, a maps. Uh, I got a seat pad here. Again, this is, a, do you need a seat pad in the woods? No, no, but why not? I got the space for it, it's just super thin, so uh, not much. Yeah, buddy. If you're thinking about getting one of these packs, I do recommend it. I absolutely adore this pack, that's me. Like 15 liters is my, mm, that's my sweet spot. That's just what I like to do. But you saw, as I said, if I carry the drone or extra camera equipment, it's gonna get tight. It's gonna get a little bit tight. You know, 18 liters, 20 liters maybe is even more perfect, but I just like to have uh, uh, less space. You know, I just like to bring as little as with me as possible so I can be swift. Um, well, as swift as I can be, but. This really helps me out. Um, if you want to see me do more backpack reviews, um, like I said, we'll talk about the Prometheus Design Works Shadow Pack coming up soon. So subscribe to the channel and thanks for clicking on. My name is Rock Eastwood. Catch you next time.